Hello everyone. Today is Sunday, 13th of August 2023. I am Madam Annie Reju Erewa. Whatever time you are right now, I want well, to come you to my channel and the Red you news please like share and subscribe <laughs> Today's show goes to the people of the coastal region, the Afra land. There are people in the coastal region who are either pretending, looking the other way, and acting as if they don't see the, 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 the destruction, the destabilization, the condition of life the sufferings that is going on in the coastal region that is higher below poverty line, the bad condition. And they pretend as if they don't see it. Then there are those in the coastal region who still live in deceit, who are being deceived by those who have sold out, who have given away their destiny to the Islamic Nigeria for crumbs of food that falls from their from the table of the Islamic Nigeria in exchange for their own individual self-interest and uh, taking care of their stomach and their, and their family. While the Frederick Lugard, who came to create the Nigeria, carried full control of the Islamic Nigeria and gave it to the uh, Northern to rule because they are their puppets. I have two videos that I like to show you today but first there is this you know you continue to hear this saying uh, Nigeria is giant of Africa Nigeria is giant of Africa uh, Zix of uh, Africa 
But let's look at it from a realistic viewpoint and be truthful to ourselves. Is Nigeria really giant of Africa? Or is it a fantasy? Or an um, uh, uh, imagination of uh, Frederick Lugard? who came, a British mercenary soldier, who fabricated and fed out the experimented Islamic Nigeria, and then uh, from a royal Niger company that he brought after he was a governor in the north Frederick Lugard way before 1914 way before the amalgamation Frederick Lugard held a, 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 a position in the north when the, uh, the, 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 the three neighboring regions were doing their own thing. Not in Nigeria at that time. So it was before 1914, Frederick Lugard already with the Northerners, they, have, uh, they, they were doing things together. He held a, uh, like a governor or something position there. Yes. So now, uh, this uh, giant of Africa um, was uh, Frederick Lugard's imagination from the Nigeria that he created bringing three different nations that have nothing in common they are they don't dress alike they don't have uh, they don't eat the same food they don't have the same value system uh, brought them together uh, that he called amalgamation uh, on the on the uh, first uh, january 1914 is that what Frederick Lugard is uh, is that what uh, this uh, giant of Africa represents second the second video which you're going to see is how the UK and America is soaking and siphoning Africa dry of its resources at grave disadvantage of the Biafran or Biafran or Biafra whose resources actually sustains the experimented fake fraudulent uh, Nigeria that has since expired on the midnight of 31st December 2013. So this is the, me, the the Nigeria media don't let the masses know. Constants especially know nothing. They they think they know, they know nothing. Honestly, you know, 
So let's see the video together. It's less than two minutes. Let's see if Nigeria is giant of Africa or if it is not giant of Africa. Factually truthful, the truth is not biased. Nigeria is not the giant of Africa and never was. In terms of Human Development Index, HDI, the top 10 are Mauritius, Seychelles, Algeria, Egypt, Tunisia, Libya, South Africa, Gabon and Botswana. In terms of electricity generation, Nigeria is fifth, generating 11.7 versus 218 million people. South Africa the first, with just 60 million people, generates 63.28, six times Nigeria's. Egypt is second, with 60, against 100 million people, generating 60.07. In terms of African Infrastructure Development Index, AIDI, the top 10 are Seychelles, Egypt, Libya, South Africa, Mauritius, Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, Cape Verde and Botswana. Nigeria tops Africa only on one thing, GDP growth and not per capita, which is a true reflection of the country's living standard. Nigeria has no running water, inconsistent to non-existent power supply, horrible road network, horrible police force, highest number of poor people in the world, extremely high infant mortality, record unemployment. Nigeria is not the giant of Africa and never was. Nigeria is not even come close to be giant of West Africa not to mention be the giant of the entire African continent. Do you know how big Africa, the, the continent of Africa is? It's huge. And as you can now see, you know, The, 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 there are countries, the video explained the countries in Africa that are giant and what makes those countries to be giant. You see, there is this, uh, 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 this saying, not uh, not by the quantity, but by the quality. Yes, not by quantity, but by quality. The 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 the, 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 the Nigeria. Eh? They brought three. A, a different Oyibo, a white man from Britain. Eh? And if you go and do a research of Frederick Lugard, go do research on Frederick Lugard, you'll find out that he, they sent him to Africa because he was becoming of no use. Yes, it was becoming of no use to the British. Go and do, go do research. Go, go, go read about him. Go do that. You will see. Hmm? And this uh, 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 liquidated man, this liquidated man came. He said they brought a business. And then this business, Royal Niger Company, is what has destroyed coastal till 
to them that we are still we are suffering yes yes and it's very painful and it's sad it's sad because the the politicians that they put there are not acting in in the interest of the people they're not acting in the interest of of the masses they are there for their own self interest and self gain so this is why today we are suffering this is why today you'll find that even coast ones still don't know what is going on they don't understand when you are trying to tell them they begin to they they, they begin to say oh uh, if we divide now uh, the nigeria will come small but the thing is see what's happened to you your generation look at the whole place see how bad it is so now you can see that there are countries in africa who are giant and the reason why they are giant and nigeria does not even come close to be giant uh, uh, in uh, west africa not to talk about uh, uh, giant of uh, the continent okay there are countries that are rated giant and what makes them to be giant of africa you you heard it in the in the video so it's time is this is when we should begin to face reality uh, you know to begin to think to begin to use our head and the thing is the media also the media they put them there not to let the masses know the truth because they too are puppets they are getting their fair share okay so that is that now the next video talks about construction of underground pipeline directly from the Islamic Nigeria Republic from Biafra land in the whole of Biafra land include the coastal the coastal region and route through West Africa all the way to UK to to European countries US all so your resources is actually the one taking care of these places as you're going to find out from the next video they're taking your resources all these years over a hundred years they've been extracting now they went and dug a pipe construct a pipe to take for free well they take for free but they put africa in debt yes they put africa in debt so let's see let's pay attention to this uh, uh this uh, video but first a story that no one's talking about is the massive pipeline that is nearly set to go online. Now, it starts in Nigeria. It flows through Niger on its way up into Europe. Chevron and the United States have already invested $13 billion into this pipeline. And guess what, guys? After the Nord Stream pipeline destruction, Chevron stepped up production to get this up and running. Hey, we'll speed, you know, we'll speed this up. We'll fast track this. 
And now the people of Niger are saying, wait a second, why are we going to allow a pipeline to flow right through our country so Europe can have natural gas? You are doing nothing for us. You continue to steal from us. Sorry, no more pipeline. This is why Europe is terrified this morning. The United States already blew up the Nord Stream pipeline, put their own pipeline into action in Africa. Smart business move, right? We'll, we'll just blow up the competition. Imagine Walmart doing that to Target stores. Yeah, we're just going to blow up those stores. Now you got to shop at Walmart. And now Niger is saying, hey, sorry, you're not going to use our country to transport your natural gas into Europe. Get out of here. So Europe is facing catastrophe with no Nord Stream pipeline coming from Russia any longer. And now the threat of this pipeline being shut down through Africa. This was their salvation, this pipeline. And then add into it uranium. Well, you've seen... You have seen that your own resources is sustaining UK. It's actually your resources that make UK. Yes, your resources. Does it surprise you? Hmm? They take your resources for free. And then they, they, they come back and sell it back to you. And then uh, Africa is in debt. Serious debt. And they destroy. They destroy the place. Destroy your own, your own resources, they take it. They don't care. We constants, we have become commodity. All they needed is our resources. And now they have, there is not enough. They have dug, they construct a pipeline. Say, you know what? I think we should just have an underground pipeline. Let's, let's leave the bloody people there. Let them suffer. And then our resources, uh, they keep uh, taking, extracting. You know? And you can see the suffering. And the thing now is, this uh, pipeline, Asari Dokubo, the one who called himself an Izon, who always ran his mouth on social media, that they use as an experiment, Islam experiment because of Islamization they want to do. I, I, Sari Dokubo was, was ex, is an experiment. And then they made him to be guiding the pipeline. Yes, Asari Dokubo and these traitors and these political jobbers and these sabos, they are all helping the strangers by him, a puppet for them, guiding the pipeline. So they can extract uh, our resources. You heard it. Going through West Africa, your resources, my resources, to make our, the present generation and future generations to live in perpetual poverty. So, Asari Dokubo and all these players, inside the players, the traitors and the political jobbers, corrupt politicians should be held accountable for paving the way for strangers to come and destroy coastal. Asari Dokubo, 
Yes. Should be held accountable. Because he is being paid with the same resource money that comes from your backyard. And Asari Dokubo calls himself an Izoman. He calls himself his, his Niger Delta and that nonsense. Meanwhile, he is guiding the pipeline that they constructed underground all the way to UK, to European countries, to America. And he calls himself an Izoma. He's guiding. He's the one guiding the pipeline, Asari Dokubo, that you just heard now in, uh, uh, in this uh, video clip. You know? And other West African countries, they realize the danger, which is what is happening right now. They realized the danger and they said, no, this pipeline is not going beyond here because you are going to destroy West Africa with it. You are going to siphon the resources of West Africa, of Biafrans. We're not letting you go by with this. So, this is the issue here, you know? So, this is the divide, this is what divide and conquer that the Europeans, Frederick Lugard, this is why divide and conquer have been, they are using it effectively, it's been very successful for them. Because it's dividing us and conquering us so they can use our resources. And as you can now see, so we will not pay attention to how they are coming to take what is ours. But you are not going to be able to do that in Europe. If you go to Europe, you even want to name a street after you. They will, they will tell they will. They, they will tell you, they, they will not let you. Even to own a business in certain areas, they're not going to let you. But they are coming to your, to all, to uh, Biafra, taking our resources, calling us monkey, and yet our resources is building. It's building them, and we are saying, oh, Oyibo, Oyibo, Oyibo. So there you go. Asari Dokubo. Money crumbs that is coming from the, uh, the stranger's table. Crumbs that is coming from the Islamic Nigeria meal table. And the money is coming from Biafra land from which they give crumbs and then they let us suffer. So, Coastlands, stop being the Mumu who have sat over the years not paying attention to what is happening around you. The media. Don't the media doesn't tell you anything. Look at this video you just watched about UK and America construct pipeline underground from your own backyard. Where is Vanguard? Where is Vanguard? Did any of the Nigerian news media did any Reveal it? No. But it's everywhere. 
is trending everywhere. West Africa right now, there is, a, uh, there is, there is war about it. And those who, the UK, the America, they want to go and wage war with the West African country that stopped them from going further. They want to. Then now, uh, uh, they even went bribing. They said they are not taking any money from them because enough is enough. And so, coast ones, shine your eyes. Buckle up your belt because you have heard it for yourself. You saw the video clip. Yes. The strangers. You saw the video. A stranger came to your own backyard. Taking your own. Construct underground. While you are sleeping, uh, construction is going on underground. You won't know. You are walking. Say, I, I they go market. Uh, I'm going to work. Underground. Thief. They constructed a, 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 an underground pipeline to take all your natural resources. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up because... The present generation and future generation matters. It's time for coastlands to show that they have woken up. And that's what this uh, 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 news, Annie Reju News, has brought to you. Um, you know. It's very important, or else, coast ones, if you don't buckle up your belt and roll up your sleeve, your, your sleeve, roll it up, and be alert, your present generation, future generation, to come will be in shackles and the, and the, and the, uh, 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 shambles, strangers, Asari Dokubo and all these traitors who are puppets to these strangers will leave hostile future generation in perpetual poverty. The poverty that will happen will even be worse than the one you are seeing now. So, wake up, Coastlands. Wake up. Time to wake up. A word is enough for the wise. Don't trust. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Anireju News. If you like, if you would like to donate for charity humanitarian, you can do so to my cash app. Thank you.